Well, we're really pleased today to be back at the Kurt Patrick Gardens at the Kurt Patrick Center, visiting with horticulturalist Sean Doring and looking at all the, the interesting things that are going on here. Sean, you've got a lot of really different things here, and, and I know that here at the gardens, many of your things are educational in nature because of all the school groups that come out, but this is a really interesting little planting bed here. Tell me what you've got down here. Well, this is our early spring vegetable garden, and right now uh, we've got some uh, cool season crops such as the lettuce, the onions, uh, some broccoli, some uh, purple uh, cauliflower, it's regular cauliflower, uh, some Swiss chard, mustard, spinach, carrots, and uh, several other varieties that'll do uh, real well here in the springtime. And I know that also up here in the, in the, the uh, cold frame, where you're just looking at that, you've got several varieties of lettuce that really look good. Uh-huh. We've got some uh, iceberg lettuce, and then the other one is uh, some green leaf lettuce. And I know that many of the students that come along here from the various schools in Oklahoma, this may be the, the first opportunity they've had to see some of these actual plants in uh, growing. And how do you handle this? Do you bring groups through here? Exactly what's what's your role as far as uh, giving some of this information out to the school students? Uh, we've had several uh, educational classes that we offer through uh, school groups, anywhere from preschoolers all the way up to high school groups. And they can uh, call here for information on that, and they can, uh, our people here in the offices can send out uh, educational packets to those groups if they're interested in that. I know you've had these things started uh, several weeks or maybe even months now because you've got a lot of growth on this broccoli already. And in fact, uh, it looks like it won't be too long we may see some heads on that. How, how have you handled this during some of the late cool weather we had here this spring? Uh, once again, these were growing inside our greenhouse here. And uh, this late, just this recent late last uh, frost that we had, we had this completely covered with straw. Uh, the whole plants were all covered up so they weren't get uh, damaged by the frost. Sean, you've got a, an extremely interesting looking uh, small fruit area, tree fruit area down there that's that's uh, mulched well with wood chips and, and you've just done a really good job in, in laying things out for people that give them some ideas also on how they can do their own garden. But the thing that's interest, interested me maybe the most today right here are all those beautiful uh, annuals that we see up there. The pansies were just beautiful. And I also know that uh, you're going to be doing some other things in those annual beds. Tell me a little bit about what you've got up there in that ornamental area. Well, right now we've got some pansies in bloom. And uh, after they get done blooming, we'll be bringing out our summer annuals, such as our geranium, salvia. Uh, we've got actually about 10,000 that we'll be bringing out and planting right here at the Kirkpatrick Gardens. And uh, that should be going on probably the month of May. And by the end of May, we should have all that complete. And you also told me... Uh, fantastic number of tulip bulbs that you have planted in several beds here. Uh-huh. We probably have approximately anywhere from eight to 12,000 uh, different varieties of bulbs. They were from daffodils, crocus, hyacinths, and tulips again. And each year we change our tulip uh, patterns and uh, tulip varieties, and uh, each year it's different. Great. Well, and there's, there's so many interesting things to always see at the Kirkpatrick Gardens, and they're continually changing. You can come out here about every week and see something different, particularly the progress. And I know it's a it's really a, a neat place for not only for the general public to visit, but particularly for school kids, because it does give them a real insight on plant science. Sean, we appreciate it very much you having us out today, and we look forward to being here again at the Kirkpatrick Gardens in the future. Well, thank you for coming. Great. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.